So my idea in doing all of this is it to contact the flower for the material. I had block and all this. The quick with all the material, almost like a, when you can see it, like it explodes the resin on the glove. The gloves kind of attract the resin off. You put the hand under the pile, give like the lightest shimmy, and like pull your hand up. And it takes the resin off your hand. So I've always like exploded, like poof it off. And if anything's ever been collected anywhere. And I think what it is, because the heads are all negative, right? The mass is positive. So putting it back under there pulls the heads back off. And it's all attracted to itself. And because you've got a lot of mass, the mass starts a higher charge. Yeah. And tribal electric or tribal Yeah. Yeah, I posted tribal electric uh, charge affinities on Bubble Man's fucking Facebook group like two years ago. So like, fuck. I don't know. So there are no good dry sip machines. I mean, whatever the current machine is that Terminator. Is it? Just tumbling, tumbling with multiple stages or frozen tumbling and really quick tumbles. Uh, there's nothing with any type of selection or any type of... There's not... The yields are any good or not? The road taps do work, but you, it, there's not a giant... Yeah, but there's no road tap. No, there's no, there's no giant one. The, uh, a company, there's two companies that have tried making like cheap versions of like a homemade road tap with just like a random vibrator motor. And they all break and they're shit and don't really work. Separating the stalks and the heads, maybe at like a the 50 to 80 percent purity, pretty efficiently. But it's that last stage that would for sure need something to separate the ones that were connected, or like clustered, like uh, not only with like a broken head attracted to a or a head attracted like a broken stalk that wasn't even connected to it. Maybe by like some smeared resin or something. There needs to be that. Nah, I think too much actually. Damn. That means you did a really good job the first time that in the, that extraction. That's uh. uh
where it aggravates is from the positive and the negative, from the different polarity, from the contaminant with the head. That tells you where if you still have head, if you vibrate and get aggravation, that means you still have uh, meddling, meddling, meddling? Meddling. Yeah. That's why it does that so bad. It's not because the resin is so sticky, it's because of the different charges of the head to the stock. That's where I was really wrong. When they're uncharged, they are like somehow like neutral, but they do take on a positive charge. The, uh, these are some really big heads right here. So, let's do that. <laughs>
This is more sandy. Yeah, it's very sandy. It's a, it's a different feeling. It's a different charge. It's a different material. It's a different... It's like separating plastic to like an ore. Like, you'll notice as the screen keeps being freed up, that gritty feeling will keep getting grittier and grittier. And grittier. I mean, you're doing static right now, you're getting a little... There's a marked difference when you're doing it. Mm -hmm. And you can, you can clearly see the difference yeah. in color. Yeah, just... And even that feeling on the hands feels entirely different. And then you can tell when you almost get it off, but then there's still something left in your hand, but when you go and look at it, it's like, cool, that's actually like mostly stock. Like, it's uh, interesting. Yeah, whatever. Yeah. Different brush. Different brush. Use that one. 
No, but like you see how but if you watch where you brush though, it actually leaves a clean trail. So if you would have started with that one, everything you brushed off wouldn't have flung to a different spot. Is that brush doesn't charge the contaminants as much. But yes, it's still. see the darkness about all the way up to about there, right? Mm -hmm. So now I have my doodad and go over here. It's coming off. It's coming off, but you'll notice there's still shit here. It's that's that's my mid. Okay, you know how you, you know how you do your separation and you get like your middle of the, the, the what do they call it? Metal metal middlings. Uh, that's Pretty much that. Now that that's like if you scope at about 99 to 95, all you can do is do it. And if I do it in another while, man, so it goes back into the wave. So otherwise, I would go onto the previously worked screen and just get reworked. It'd be the two routes I would usually go. Um, that's the run, but that's about what I would. So now if you look at just like what's here, I mean, it wasn't, it wasn't too compared to like what the rest of it was. So we'll do that again now. We'll give it a secondary. Notice that nothing's flying out far. Did you notice at first? Okay. If you watch, I'm gonna brush about right here. You'll notice the fly out to about here. See it? But if, now if I keep doing it, it won't fly out that far. See how it's staying back there? Really? My head count is about to See so a little bit just go out and then it stopped again. So that's when I stopped doing it. Now that would be then blown out of the air. That's or added back to recleaning or added back to waste the biomass to go into it, and also what have you. But that would be, I mean, now it's clean back out. Go ahead and start brushing it. So, if bristles are greater on the downside, and if contaminants work down, there could be an air compressor down, but it would have to really, and anything blowing down here would just be fucking up that bristle motion. If you had bristles on a conveyor, with different stages. If I want to know all the brush, I can do it with a paint plate. So, if you watch this, you will. I'll take a little area here.
The brush is picking up the contaminants. And working it through at the same time. What do you mean working it through? Just like my hand is working the contaminants through the screen from friction rolling it, but it's also constantly grabbing contaminants like this, but it's a different type of stage. It's, it's like multiple little feathery stage versus one type. So doing that, I'm cleaning the screen. Why is it? So the only way I can clean the, the largest area of screen, the largest surface area of the screen, without taking the mass off the screen, is by getting it in the most condensed pile. So wherever I can get it, anywhere, doing this until that sound. Because once the pores get the fish that I had you feel, it gets lifted out. And then that's when you're back to being able to rub on the mesh. Then you can bring it back over and actually use the mesh for letting the cameras. Move. 